amount of time spent in this queue is ridiculous. Must put £20 on my watch. Hello there. Ah, oh, good evening, good evening. Ah, oh, I see uh, what you've got here. Um, it's a watch. Well, yes, I could have told you that, strangely enough. Uh, but would you like to know uh, a bit more about it? That would be nice, yes. I mean, um, it's not too much trouble, that is. Well, it, it is, of course, but um, being an expert, I've got plenty of time to patronise people like you. Um, yes, as you so succinctly uh, surmised, it is a watch. Um, but it's uh, no ordinary watch. It's a, a sort of watch that uh, a while ago became rather unfashionable uh, to wear uh, for reasons that I can't remember. <laughs> um, but it's uh, quite a common feature today. But in the 18th century, it was very unfashionable. Um, mostly at the time, uh, this is a later design, but the early ones tended to be more in the style of sundials, um, which resulted in uh, people of uh, going to hospital and uh, they didn't really appreciate it there because they had quite a lot of them coming in to begin with, um, with broken wrists broken on account wrists. of like the, you know, the weight of the item and the fact that uh, it never told the time right unless you stood still facing north um, with your arm at 90 degrees to uh, the normal plane of the Earth's axis <laughs> and so forth. Um, and then later on, uh, the real breakthrough came with uh, a bloke called uh, Resent, uh, who uh, invented the first watch as we know it today. Uh, but it was, it was his brother Paul that, um, that really, really managed to, to shift the little beasts <laughs> in large numbers. Um, and uh, this is where we get this uh, kind of uh, odd phrase, uh, there's no time like the P resent. <laughs> That's fascinating, so, really fascinating. Oh, In fact, it is. your little lecture has nearly made the 10 hour queue <laughs> worthwhile. Well, of I'm course. Not wishing, I'm not wishing to skip a huge chunk of interest tale or anything, but cut to the crap and tell me how it's worth. Um, well, of course, um, I wouldn't insure it for anything. Um, mostly because I don't know anything about it and it's not mine. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but seriously. Um, Yes. Yes, why, why wouldn't you insure it? Well, it's not mine. Get it. Yeah, thank so you very much. Take it away. I will.